Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to write the equation uh, of an ellipse, um, given the major axis is horizontal with a length of 8, as well as the minor axis is vertical with a length of 4. So when we're writing an equation of ellipse, there's two different equations, one where the major axis is horizontal and one where the major axis is vertical. And thankfully, in this problem, they say that it is a horizontal. So therefore, we know that a. Um, a squared, which a represents the distance from the center to the vertice um, vertices, is going to be um, under the x since it's horizontal. So therefore, the standard equation that we're going to write our equation in is x minus h squared all over a squared plus y minus k squared all over b squared equals 1. Um, now, remember the center is represented by h and k. So likely, we already have that information, right? So that's good. So remember, it's x opposite of h, though. So here, h is negative 2. So opposite of negative 2 would be positive 2. So I write x plus 2 squared plus y opposite of 3 would be negative 3 squared equals 1. Now, the only problem is we don't know what a squared and we do not know what b squared is. Um, but let's go ahead and graph a ellipse here. And let's pretend here's the center. Here's vertice and here's vertice. Remember, I said the distance from the center to a vertex, or one of the vertices, is a. Well, that distance has to be the same. So therefore, the distance from one vertice to the other vertice, or one vertex to the other vertex, is going to be, or one ver uh, I don't know, ah, whatever, um, is going to be 2a. So the length of the major axis is equal to 2a. So therefore, I can say. 2a is equal to 8 divided by 2 divided by 2. a equals 4. Well, 4 squared is going to be 16. And then b, that's going to be the length of the minor axis, which again, b, b. So I can say 2b is equal to 4 divided by 2 divided by 2. b equals 2. And again, 2 squared will equal 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of the ellipse when given the length of the major and minor axis as well as the center. Thanks.